guys, Ever here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is very exciting. We are going to go over the skincare secrets that I have that you guys have been asking me so much about. So, before we get into this video, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please make sure you hit that button below so that you have all the updates for my future videos. And without further ado, let's get on in. I'm going to go put some clothes on and we're going to hit it. So this video, I'm going to go over some of the products that I use and that I love. I'm not really going to do a get ready with me kind of situation. We'll do that another time. I'm going to explain some things that I do to really keep my skin looking nice and clean and clear and things like that. So skincare can be a huge trial and error process and it can be such a pain constantly trying all these products and hoping that they work and sometimes they don't. And so these are products that I have tried and gone through the trial and error process and have really worked for me and they've really shown results and they've really helped me with situations that I've had with my skin. So I'm going to show you guys them. Hopefully you guys can take something from it and hopefully they can maybe help you if you're having any issues. First off, I want to talk about hydration. Hydration is a key, 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 key to clear skin. If you're not hydrating and you're not drinking enough water, you're really not helping your skin in any way. You're not helping your skin flush out toxins or anything like that. So you wanna make sure you're constantly drinking water. This is a 1.5 liter and I think I drink like two, sometimes even more than that a day. It's really going to help the overall look of your skin and your complexion. Something I have noticed about water since moving to California, the water is very hard here. I am now only drinking bottled or filtered water. It really has made such a difference for me. It's not the same for everyone. Water is healthy to drink out of the tap. However, I have noticed that the water has made me kind of break out here in California. So if you're having issues like that and you're using gentle products and things like that, maybe try switching it up and using bottled or filtered water to wash your face as well as drinking bottled or filtered water and just see if that helps in any way. Give it a week or two. What's it gonna hurt? Another part to keeping your skin clear is your diet. You want to make sure that you are eating foods that will help and promote your healthy looking skin. I like to eat watermelon, celery, baby carrots. I like to drink coconut water. Those things will really help in the hydration process of your skin with all the fluids in them. You want to make sure you're staying away from things like dairy and soda and high caffeine drinks and things like that because they will not be so friendly to your skin and it will start to show through blemishes and things like that and just stuff you don't want. So on the product, something that is natural that I really love to use, especially after I shave or after the shower, is I dab a little bit of cocoa oil all over my face and kind of like down in my neck whenever I shave. It really helps soothe your skin if you have any problems with hydration. Maybe if you were out drinking too much this weekend, like a lot of us do. This will help you or will really help resolve any issues that you're having with dry patches, redness, things like that. Another thing I do for skincare is I take supplements. They are a very easy and natural way to keep your body in balance and to keep your hormone levels and things like that all intact. Every morning I take two cod liver oil soft gel tablets. These guys really help me keep my skin clear. They really keep it hydrated. The oil and fats in them are very good for your skin and for your overall complexion. Another huge secret of mine that a lot of people know, if you follow me on Instagram, you know on my stories all the time that I'm taking these. I take collagen supplements. These guys are a tablet form, but I do take a powder form as well sometimes from Vital Proteins, as a lot of you know. It is very effective and it is a very, very big secret of mine that I have been doing for a long time to keep my skin clear. Collagen is very good for promoting your hair, your skin, your nails, your joints, the elasticity in your skin. It really helps for things like that. Something I also take every morning is an ashwagandha, uh, uh, an, uh, I can never say it, an ashwagandha. It's a plant-based supplement, but it is a natural stress release. You definitely want to keep your stress levels down if you want clear skin. Doing things like yoga or running, exercising of any kind of sort will really help release that stress. These guys will also help you stay a little bit more calm and just a little less stressed throughout your day. Stress will really add to pimples and acne and breakouts and things like that. So you definitely want to make sure that you are staying away from stress. All right, so exfoliating while you cleanse is a huge thing that people miss and they do not do and it is so important you want to make sure that you are scraping away dead skin cells and things like that to promote the new ones that are coming in a product that i really love is this guy it is a foreo exfoliator it vibrates oh, yeah. you just dab a little bit of cleanser on here you turn it on and you kind of scrub away at your face gently. It has a gentle side and it also has a little bit more rough side. It will naturally just take off all of the dead skin that you do not need and you definitely do not want because if you leave it there, it will fall into your pores 
clogging them up and you will have pimples and breakouts, which we don't want. Another huge thing is staying moisturized. You want your skin to be moisturized all day long. I have been using this Kiehl's Facial Fuel for years now. It is very gentle, it's very easy, it's very light. You don't want anything heavy, it might clog your pores and things like that. This guy's been amazing for me. If you don't have a moisturizer, try this guy out. I guarantee you, you will love it. You only need a little bit and it goes a long way. If you follow me on Instagram, you constantly see me uploading things on my stories about eye patches that I'm wearing or eye creams that I'm using and things like that. I love treating my under eyes. Something I use every night is the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Eye. And during the day, I like to use the Kiehl's Age Defender Eye Repair Cream. Something to know, products that come in jars, make sure you are not keeping them open for longer than you need to. Take it off, grab the product, put the cap back on, and apply it. Products in jars do tend to get exposed to bacteria and things like that if your hands are not clean and you're putting your hand in the product and then putting it on your face. You're one, getting the bacteria in the product, and two, you're then putting the bacteria in your skin, which you don't want to do. So make sure your hands are clean and make sure that you are not leaving the caps open on jarred products. It will make a difference. Okay. So speaking of eye patches and masks, people know that I love my eye gel masks. These guys are from Peter Thomas Roth. You can get them at Sephora. This guy is a 24 karat gold eye lifting and brightening one. It has 24 karat gold actually in it. It really does wonders for your eyes. It really brightens them up. It really keeps them lifted and firm. You feel it instantly. It feels amazing. Another one that I use is the Peter Thomas Roth Cucumber Detox Hydra Gel Eye Patches. They're the same consistency, the little eye gel patch. You can just grab them, put them on your eye. You can wear them either way. Do not let people tell you you can't or that they are on backwards. You can wear them one way for your crow's feet and you can wear them the other way for your under eyes and your bags. I like to keep these guys in the fridge. It keeps them nice and cold. It feels really good when you put them on your eyes. It will instantly help with any puffiness or bags or things like that. Another one that I swear by is the Dr. Jart Brightening Infusion Hydrogel Mask. It really brings everything together. It helps brighten your complexion and give you an overall nice skin tone look and it helps with redness and things like that. Overnight masks have become a huge thing for me. I love this guy. It is the Skin Ink Pure Deep Sea Hydrating Mask. This guy's like a clear gel, it's also in a jar, so make sure you're keeping your lid on it as tight as you can when you don't need it. You put this guy on at the end of your skincare routine right before you go to bed, you let it sit in overnight and you wake up with the most amazing feeling skin ever. You guys, I cannot even begin to explain to you how good your skin will feel after. Lastly and almost most importantly is SPF. You need to make sure that you are using SPF. It is so dire, especially if you live anywhere where the sun is strong and out a lot. I use the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair, Ultra Repair. I use the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Pure Mineral Sunscreen Moisturizer. My God, that was a mouthful. It is an SPF of 40. You want to make sure that you are using a high number, like 30, 40, 50 if you can. SPFs are so important in your overall skincare. You want to make sure that you are blocking out those harmful rays. If you have redness or anything like that, SPF really will help that situation. So make sure you are using an SPF. If you do suffer from redness or even rosacea, something that is really, really helpful is the Dr. Jart tiger grass color correcting treatment. It is a little jar, which I don't love, but the product is amazing. It comes out green. I don't know if you guys know anything about color, but green is the opposite of red. And so when you put this guy on, the green tint will help cancel out any redness in your face and things like that. And it will fade and leave you with an overall looking skin tone. So as a quick review, you want to stay hydrated. You want to eat food that will promote your healthy skin. Try and take some supplements, even if it's just a multi-day, one-a-day kind of thing. Try some of these products out. They might help you if you're having any issues. If you guys are having any issues, please leave them in the comments below. I would love to help in any way that I can. Also, if you guys have any tips or tricks that I should try out or any products that you think I would like, please let me know in the comments below as well. So if you guys like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up as well as make sure you are subscribed to my channel. I have videos every Wednesday, so please make sure you stay tuned for that. If you guys are not following me on Instagram and Twitter, please make sure you do that as well. It is just Everett Williams. I can't thank you guys enough for watching, so I will see you next week.